when we did finally leave that church, it did not go amicably at all. We had a very, yeah. very heated I, I want to know. I want to know about that right there because so for anyone listening who does not know what word of faith is, it is. You explain it. You, you know, you, it's, you'll probably explain it better, but it, it's, it's yeah. deceptive. Well, one, it's a heresy, but two, it's more than a heresy. It's a cult. It's yeah. a culture that's like a cult. It is, they are their own movement. Like they, they think all alike. They speak all alike. They think all alike because again, they do a very good job of discipling and indoctrinating their people too. Mm-hmm. And so what, ha- it's like a cultish movement and what it is, there's a couple main characteristics that is in it and you can define it. Number one, they believe that Jesus just didn't die for our salvation and our sins. He died to basically redeem us of all curses. So therefore, if poverty is a curse, then he redeemed us from poverty. So number one, God wants us to be rich. And I'm not just talking about like rich in our health and rich in our relationships, even though later on they did say that so they can kind of soften it a little bit. But in the late 90s, it was about God wants you to be a millionaire. Like God wants you hog, nasty, wealthy. Um, so number one, rich. And I'm, I'm talking prosperity like nobody's business rich. Number two, also he wants you to be, they call it the health and wealth gospel. He wants you to be completely healthy. So they don't believe in like cancer or sickness or COVID or, you know, none of those things. Like you got to be 100% like, healthy and healed like all the time which leads me to my second point if you ever do get like cancer or covid or whatever they believe in the name it and claim it you know blab it and grab it doctrine to where you can just speak it into existence so if you ever do get diagnosed with cancer you can speak to your cancer and you can speak to your covid and you can tell your covid to go and your cancer to go and it has and it somehow has to you know, obey your command as if you are a God. And there's a reason. Here's number three, because they believe you are a God with a small letter G. Um, so they believe anything that Jesus did, we can do too. So because they believe that we are a God. We not only, you know, we have divine in us because we have the Holy Spirit, but we are also a divine being ourselves. And as a divine being, we can control the weather. We can speak to COVID, we, which is why when Kenneth Copeland rebuked COVID, remember when he, he he's like, I curse you, COVID-19. And right when he did all that stupid, stupid stuff. Well, there's a reason why, it, in his defense, there's a reason why he did that. Because Kenneth Copeland, since like the late 80s, has been teaching, we are divine beings. We are gods. Okay. Just to give you even even how more blasphemous that is, one of Kenneth Copeland's good friends is a guy by the name of Bill Winston. Bill Winston has, and you can Google this, you can actually Google and watch the series. He actually has a series called Understanding Your Divinity. Okay? Not, I have divine in me because I have the Holy Spirit. No, understanding who you are in your divineness. Okay? So they believe that we are God's, we, therefore, we can name it and claim it. And then thirdly, we need to be hog, nasty, rich, which kind of goes into the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation, because they believe that we're, Christians are supposed to rule and reign the earth through the seven like pillars of se- seven mountains of influence. Yeah. So NAR and Word of Faith, Prosperity Gospel, they, they kind of are like, I call them the twin sisters. There's, they have a little bit different DNA, but they have the same spiritual parent. And that is world domination through Jesus. <laughs> so that's why they believe, you know, we need to own everything because we need to control everything and everything needs to be in the hands of the Christians. So we need to have all the money. That's why God wants us all wealthy. He wants us to have the Lamborghinis and these mansions because, and then they really twist it because what a great evangelism tool, evangelistic tool that is. Because see how rich we are? Now the world will want it because they want what we have. So we really don't even have to preach the gospel anymore. We just got to preach our wealth. And it'll make the people want to come to our churches, which help lead into the seeker-sensitive movement and all of that because we were just giving the sinner, just giving the sinful world what they already wanted. And the prosperity gospel just, completely and totally fed into that beast 
Um, so the NAR, Word of Faith, Prosperity, they all funneled and they fed the seeker-sensitive movement beast. Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you want to see the full episode, click right here, and you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.